Hare Krishna. The notion that love can exist out of sacrifice is a dangerous lie. In today's world, the word love has often acquired a connotation of just uh, something which is a spontaneous attraction wherein we feel an overwhelming hormonal rush when we are with someone. We just feel good with them. And when we stop feeling good, then we start thinking, I no longer love this person. And this idea of love, which is based primarily on uh, positive emotion and positive stimulation in the presence of the object of love, can be extended even in the spiritual realm, in the devotional realm, where people think that they they want to connect with God when it feels good with them. And the downside, the serious problem with this feel-good conception of religion is that, of, of any relationship, including the relationship with God, is that actually when the relationship breaks, when relationship breaks, when they stop feeling good, so what is the solution? Actually, love is centered on sacrifice. That means when we love someone, we need to sacrifice some of our interests at least for that other person. And love doesn't just give us good feeling, it makes us good. And it makes us good by forcing us to come out of ourselves, our own self-centeredness. And if we are not ready to do that, then we cannot sustain any loving relationship. That's why the notion that love can exist outside of sacrifice. That means without, if any, if we think that we can love without having to pay any price for that love, that is a dangerous lie. It is a lie which keeps us deprived of love uh, for our entire life while we are titillating ourselves with some hormonal stimulations and some good, emo good feelings, that's all. So the, actually speaking, love requires dedication, love requires purification. That means, love means that we need to commit ourselves to the person whom we love and love means that we need to purge aside all those emotions and all those desires that take us away from the object of love. And this applies in our relationship with uh, people and also applies in our relationship with Krishna. And thus the Bhagavad Gita in 914 states that when we are connecting with God, Satatam kirta yanto maam yatantascha dhudavrataha namashyantascha maam bhaktya nitya yukta upasate That the great devotees, they are constantly glorifying Krishna and they are endeavouring with great determination. Yatantascha dhudavrataha Why do we need to endeavour with great determination? Because to commit ourselves uh, to Krishna requires us to give up many things of the world. It requires sacrifice. And to the extent we recognize that love and sacrifice go together, to that extent our love, whatever we call as love, will become genuine, it will become uplifting and it will become, when directed toward Krishna, liberating. Thank you. Hare Krishna.